The Joves Alva wireless LED device may actually be one of the best red light therapy beauty panels to hit the market. It's portable, it's thin, it's lightweight, has six wavelengths, and these aren't six red and narrow red wavelengths. As you can see, you're getting an assortment of colors. It's pretty well priced. It's quiet, free shipping. There's a lot to like about it. Though it's definitely not perfect, and there's a few things I really don't like. And be sure to stick around until the end of the video because my team and I have taken a good hard look at the science on light therapy, wavelengths, intensity, when it comes to skin rejuvenation or beauty. And I'm gonna compare those research findings with what light this device is putting out, just ran out of better, to see how it stacks up. Let's get into it. Joe's Alva wireless light therapy device, it's, it's Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, this particular device is sold by Joe's, a company that sells numerous skincare and beauty products. I actually reviewed their 4D laser mask. Uh, I think it was last year. Uh, and I was quite impressed with it, though the problem with that mask was it was very expensive. Didn't have much coverage around the eyes, which is what a lot of people want when it comes to light therapy. Uh, and I remember thinking, look, it would be interesting if they came out with a panel because their mask was unique. It wasn't just one of these run-of-the-mill masks you see from a lot of companies. So here we have a panel. Now, it's wireless or rechargeable battery powered. It has a USB-C port so you can charge it from the supplied cable or chances that you have a cable lying around. It has built-in pulsing. It is about 10 inches by seven inches. It is very thin, less than an inch thick. It weighs 810 grams, which is about a pound and a half. So yeah, it's very, very portable. You could easily travel with this or even throw it in a day bag. It comes nicely packaged. There's a handy manual. It's got goggles, the charging cable, and this free little stand, which I'll talk about later on in the video. Now there's actually 20 different modes in this panel. Uh, I'm not gonna run through them all. You can see them on the website, but I'll touch on a few of them. There's acne mode, soothing mode, skin rejuvenation mode, skin tightening mode, hydration mode, oil control mode, anti-aging, whitening, after sun, hair mode, sleep, spot reducing. Mm, I think I covered most of them anyway, but kind of interesting how many modes there are. There is actually a lot of crossover with them. Personally, uh, looking at them all, I would probably run the whitening mode just because that has all of the wavelengths going. But when I do the testing, I'll, I'll see exactly what is going on and then I'll share my follow-up thoughts. Now, if you're thinking why there are 20 odd different modes, uh, well, this is because there's actually six different wavelengths. So I'm gonna rattle off the colors and the claimed benefits. And then again, I'll share my thoughts, but you have blue light for hydration and balance and of course acne. You have yellow for repair and calming benefits. You have amber for rejuvenation and brightening skin benefits. Red for collagen stimulating benefits. Crimson for circulation and narrow for red light for metabolism. So these are interesting benefits, not necessarily something that I would associate directly with these wavelengths. But yeah, there is some substance to what they're saying. But now I want to see exactly what is being emitted. Uh, let's find out the exact wavelengths and of course the intensity. So let's fire up the spectrometer and have a look. Okay, so firstly, it's quite tricky to get uh, a balanced reading, um, just given the layout of these LEDs, but I'm trying to get one reading where it shows all the wavelengths. The first thing that's interesting is there's a lot of blue light. I, I feel like it's overpowered, but anyway, there. let's look at the peaks. So we're gonna peak here at 5, 4.53. Uh, the marketed number was 4.60, so that is a little bit off. The yellow was meant to be 5.90, and 5.90 is down here. So I really don't see much 5.90. Let me try to get a close-up reading. Okay, so this is it just in yellow amber mode. So as you can see, the peak is actually 600 now the amber peak is meant to be 610 but uh, i think it's more like well i don't know there's 610 so i'm not too sure what's going on here but there's also a bunch of 630 then you get the other peak over here at 660 which is good this is your crimson and then the near infrared can be seen in this one uh it's meant to be 940 but yeah there's there's no well, very little 940 here instead we're seeing 910 and a 850 so it's it's all a bit of a mess to be honest um and it's very hard to measure but as you scroll through different uh lighting modes you can see the the peaks a lot better now when i go to full mode or i have all leds running 
Typically, I'd go for some irradiance figures. Now, on the box, it's marketed at 130 milliwatts, uh, which is really, really high. Now, I'm here at six inches uh, with all the wavelengths going. I'm getting figures of 14. 14 milliwatts, 10% of what is claimed. Now they could be measuring at the source, which is probably what they are doing. So I'm gonna come right in here. Of course it's tricky because I have to go over one LED. Uh, there's a figure of 24, 12, 54 if you're just over the blue, 20 over the red. So yeah, I mean, there's an adequate amount of power. Unfortunately, a lot of it's blue, uh, but it's definitely not the 130. Let's turn the blow off and see what we get. So actually, I'm just looking through the manual here. I don't know if there's a way to have all the LEDs but the blue running. So we're going to go into the skin rejuvenation mode, which is amber, red, crimson, and the infrared. Okay, so that's just got a couple wavelengths going. Uh, and we're seeing, yeah, 20s to 30s. Well, There's a 37. This is right at the panel. Uh, this is in your red and crimson. That this should be near infrared. I don't know why this is not showing up. It should be near infrared here, but there's very little. So yeah, uh, frustrating, but um, let's let's break it all down. Okay, so I want to explain whether this is actually going to work. Okay, but before I do that, I just need to ask a quick favor. Can you hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't? Do a lot of work, take a lot of time testing these products, researching them all. Um, hopefully it helps you make more of an informed decision. I don't want you guys buying junk or things that do not do what they're meant to do. So uh, if you find value in this, hit the like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. Okay, so a quick takeaway is, yeah, there are a bunch of wavelengths being emitted. I mean, visually, that's easy to see. There's six different LED lenses and they all are putting out a different color. Unfortunately, the real world numbers do not match 100% with what is marketed both in terms of wavelengths and also the power. Still though, you are getting your blues, you are getting your reds, you're getting a bit of amber and you're getting near infrared. So it is there, it's just not a perfect matchup. But what does this all mean? I mean, if you're buying this because you want those skin beauty benefits, is it gonna work, right? Like that's why we're here. Well, my team and I have gone pretty deep into the research on red light therapy or light therapy and skin rejuvenation, AKA, beauty. We've done an article on it. I have a video. It may be out yet. I'm not too sure. I'll put links to everything down below. But in a nutshell, these are the key takeaways. Firstly, red light in between 620 and 670 nanometers seems to be the, the real game changer. That's your, the, if you can only have one spectrum, that's it. This device has two wavelengths in that range, 630 and 660. So that's a tick. Next, the research shows that there's also other wavelengths that are beneficial for skin health. Now, when I say skin health, I mean fine lines, wrinkles, uh, blemishes, uh, oiliness, acne, collagen production, elasticity, you know, all those things that visually are important. Now these other wavelengths are amber, in particular 590. Now there wasn't a lot of 590 in here, but there was a lot of 600, so that's kind of cool. Near infrared, again, we got some near infrared wavelengths in here, so that is good, and blue but not too much blue. Now the blue is really good for acne and has some other skin benefits as well. Now there is blue light in here also, which is a plus. So you are getting the red plus these other beneficial wavelengths. So that is all good stuff. The next thing the research showed was that you need a particular amount of energy or intensity of light. Now it can range from 10 milliwatts right through to say 50 milliwatts. Depending on where you're using this panel, whether it's right up against your face or five, six inches away, you're going to be in that range, but on the lower end of the spectrum. Remember I was getting about 14 or so at six inches, but as you get closer, it goes up. I did find there was a lot of energy going to the blue, but you can run through different modes and disable the blue if you don't want the blue, because blue can be damaging, it can be stimulating, you don't want to use it late at night, and if you don't have acne, you may not need to use it anyway. So the good thing is, yeah, you can use it without blue, Intensity wise, you're in that range, but on the lower side. But as the default session runs for 15 minutes, it's still gonna be adequate for the skin benefits. If you are wanting deeper penetration, you know, joint pain, uh, muscle recovery, that sort of thing, it's probably not gonna be powerful enough uh, in a 10, 15 minute session. But of course, that's not what it's marketed for. Okay, so how much does all of this cost? Well, it retails for 379 US dollars. Now, I do have a discount code. Uh, it is down below. It may be Alex or Alex10. Uh, check down below and there'll be a link there as well. That'll save about 10%, which means you can get this for about 341 US dollars. There's also free shipping, international free shipping, which is pretty good. I mean, 350 bucks to have this shipped to your door, uh, six wavelengths, you know, it's, it's, 
It's good. It's respectable. Now it does come included with this metal uh, stand. It's pretty basic, but it works. I thought it would be nice if there were some other stand options, you know, movable pivoting arm type stands. You know, we see them with other panels in particular the platinum LED panels, but no, this is all you've got. So the good thing is it is wireless as in you can use it without it being plugged in. So of course you can move it around and prop it on whatever you want to get the best uh, coverage. Finally, there's a one year warranty and a 90 day returns period. Okay, so what do I like about the Joves Alva wireless red light therapy device? Well, you've got six wavelengths or maybe five depending on what's actually going on there, but it's a wide spectrum of light because it's not just five or six red light wavelengths, you're getting everything from the blue to the ambers, to the red to the near infrared. Really cool. And of course, the wavelengths used are beneficial for skin health, which again is great. So overall, this does make it a really good like skin beauty device. Uh, you're not going to use this for you know, surgery, recovery, or like arthritis or anything like that. This is a, a skin, particularly, I guess, facial uh, device. I also like that it's quiet, it's portable, it's very light. Yeah, I mean, all, all good things. You're not tied to a wall with a heavy metal bulky product that we typically see in the red light therapy panel space. And it's also going to be attractive for people who don't want to use a mask, but want to get all these benefits um, at a good price point. Final two points. It's silent. Nice to see. Often panels have fans in them, put out a lot of noise and also heat. And secondly, you've got all those mode options in there. Uh, personally, I think a lot of them are a bit of a gimmick um, and you're probably going to use all of the wavelengths maybe you skip the blue or maybe you don't run the near infrared because near infrared you may not need the near infrared maybe it could do a little bit of damage oh, i don't know i mean the thing is you've got options what i don't like about this device though is actually selecting between those options is very very frustrating yeah i mean you've got six wavelengths you've got pulsing you've got timer control but you've only got well what i thought was two buttons uh there's actually four here's a little fun fact for you it looks like there's two buttons right and i was getting very very frustrated trying to follow the manual instructions trying to follow the sticker on the back i was like why is this not working i just want to you know disable the pulsing i soon realized that even though there's visually two buttons each button has two buttons within it so you, you press either side so effectively there's four buttons why they designed it like this i don't know i mean just split it up and have four buttons have labels on it i'm not too sure but once you get over that, it's a lot easier to operate. Still, it is not the nicest product to operate. Uh, it would have been cool if there was a really basic app. You know, you could just go in and select which wavelengths you wanted to run, whether you wanted pulsing on or off. To be honest, though, like you could just have a bunch of buttons down the side and just pulse in yes, no, or one button for each wavelength and just press the ones you want, plus or minus for the timer, start. You know, it, could be done a lot better i know companies are trying to keep things minimal and streamlined and that but uh end of the day you know functionality is important of course i have to talk about the wavelength and the power discrepancy i have no idea how they got to 130 milliwatts uh as per their website not even close to that and to be honest i don't think you'd want 130 milliwatts in a device intended for beauty i mean that's more like deep penetration energy sort of numbers so not too sure what's going on there but still the numbers you are going to get in terms of power and wavelengths are adequate for the intended purpose so should you buy it well i mean yeah like at this price point with these wavelengths it's quite attractive like it really really is it's portable it's lightweight you'll soon get the hang of the frustrating buttons i mean it's it's going to work you'll see some benefits of course like i always say in these videos <clears throat> make sure you shop around there's also other options out there i mentioned the joe's 4d mask uh, that has a bunch of wavelengths in it as well obviously it's very different to a panel because you're wearing a mask but your coverage isn't going to be as good it's also twice the price of this alternatively you could look at red light therapy panels such as the biomax 300 that has seven wavelengths in it but Outside of the red and near infrared range, you're only getting blue. There's no amber in that. Very expensive though, six, seven hundred bucks with a stand, but it's a lot larger, a lot more powerful. You could use that, you know, for the joints. You could also look at the Mito Red Light Mito X range that has amber light in it. It's going to be a little bit cheaper than the Platinum LED product, so worthy of consideration. But both of those panels are powered tied to the wall. If you want something a bit more portable, uh, there are various handheld devices on there. I'll put links to some of the reviews I've done before. It's going to be closer to this price range. 
But I do have to say that this is quite unique. There's no real direct competitor to it right now. Uh, it's got a bunch of wavelengths. It's intended for beauty, for skin benefits. Uh, I guess the closest competitor is going to be a mask. And there are a lot of masks out there, including masks with a lot of wavelengths. But if you don't want to use a mask, and I personally didn't really like using it in my experiments with them, then this is quite attractive. Um, sorry, it's not in shot here. It's just, it's just that it's been charging for the last few minutes i don't know uh, surprisingly i don't know why i am a fan given the issues i have with it i think because it is so unique and does tick a lot of boxes and comes in at a really good price point with free shipping yeah i, I, I think it's all right um maybe they'll come out with a gen 2 updated version slightly better control panel fix up those wavelengths a little bit more um you know smooth out the power intensity so you get an even balance between all the wavelengths and keep the same price point and that would be really really good maybe chuck in another stand option um yeah could be cool maybe we'll see a full body panel in one of these that would be interesting all right love to hear your thoughts check out this video if you want more otherwise i will see you later